You know, the Tesla Semi electric truck, it's been, well, we've had to wait a long, long, long time for this vehicle. And I, for one, want to see them out on the roads. BYD already has electric trucks on the roads. Volvo has electric trucks on the roads. The Tesla Semi, though, it's a different proposition altogether. The range is longer, the size is bigger, and frankly, the market needs them now. So what is going on? Are they actually coming soon? Well, these images make it look like we could see them by the end of this year. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Welcome to the Patreon supporters of the channel. Just had a couple of new Patreon supporters come on board. Thank you, guys. You know who you are. It means a lot to have you. It really makes this possible. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon page if you want to support us as well. That would be amazing. So, Tesla Semi. It's going to use 4680 battery cells, which obviously Tesla doesn't have enough of right now. It's taken a long time to ramp them up, longer than they wanted them to, longer than they thought it would take. Elon has admitted that himself. It's true. And obviously, a truck needs a lot of batteries. So that is what the holdup is from. Not enough battery cells. Now, a Reddit user posted a short video of a Tesla Semi traveling west on the I-80, basically a freeway in the US. According to people who attended Tesla's Giga Texas grand opening and delivery party, it's a Semi that was actually on display at the event, driving itself home. Not by itself. Yes, someone was actually driving it. Not fully autonomous yet, unfortunately. Tesserati says the electric hauler had been painted by an artist during the party. And I saw the design and I thought, wow, that's a talented artist. This thing looks pretty cool. The Tesla electric semi was spotted in California, in Colfax. And it may have simply been out testing, though the paint definitely got my attention. And the great thing about the semi here, right, in these pictures in this video, is it wasn't the Nikola. I mean, they didn't tow it to the top of a hill and just let it roll down the hill to try and convince you that the thing could actually drive. This thing is actually driving. It's the real deal. Now, on this channel, I recently talked about another Tesla Semi sighting that consisted of two Class 8 trucks driving on Interstate 80 near Donner Lake in the northeast area of California. Some people assume the trucks, which both appear to be updated, could have been on their way to PepsiCo in Modesto, California. Why PepsiCo? Well, PepsiCo put a massive order in for Tesla trucks. Oh, I think it was about two years ago now. Either way, Reddit user Ubookhauser published this video clip of the Tesla Semi on I-80 in Colax, which is between Sacramento and Lake Tahoe. In fact, Colfax isn't too far away from the area around Donma Lake, where the other semis were recently seen, and it's on the way to Modesto. So the question here is, people are asking, why are these semis going to Modesto? Well, PepsiCo, Frito-Lay, has a large order of Tesla electric semis. Tesla has already installed megachargers, which are 1,000 watt superchargers, specifically for the semis at Frito-Lay's location in Modesto. PepsiCo continues to report that it's getting some of its Tesla semis soon. When is soon? Well, don't exactly know. Tesla did just recently report its Q2 2022 financials and held its related conference call for investors. Elon once again confirmed that the Tesla will start semi-production in 2023. The Cybertruck will come in 2023 as well. It's going to be a big year for Tesla. Obviously, the Roadster is meant to come as well. So we've got the Semi, the Roadster, the Cybertruck all coming in 2023. And I believe as well, the Model A is coming in 2023 too. And it will be manufactured in China, where it's currently under development. Now, I'll put a link in the description below so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about here. But I'm thinking, what are you talking about? What do you mean the Model A? I'll put a link in the description below. You can learn more about that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the electric revolution. As always, we live, you know, we really do live on an amazing place. Planet Earth, the technology here is insane. Imagine if you got to travel back in time 100 years and you could show people your iPhone or your electric car or your solar panels or, you know, your wind turbines. You know, wind turbines, you know how big they are now? 
you haven't seen how big they are, you need to check out my video on the world's biggest wind turbines, which can power millions of homes. Thank you for supporting. Have a great day.